Hello everyone, it's Laura here from makingcardsisfun.com and it's time for another Saturday STEM Day card and video. Uh, first I want to let you know that I reached 900 YouTube su subscribers and I'm just super happy and excited. Um, and as soon as I reach a thousand subscribers I'm going to host a video hop uh, to celebrate and it will feature a lot of amazing guests and sponsors so I absolutely cannot wait. Uh, so I'm just very excited. So now I'm going to start out with the card and I'm going to start uh, by using some white watercolor cardstock by Tim Holtz uh, and I cut it to two and a half inch by three and three quarters of an inch. So first I'm going to use some flour uh, to remove the cling because I'm going to do some embossing. I'm going to use the Butterfly Stamp Set by Simon Says Stamp today and I showed this in my uh, previous haul video which was the April haul video. So I'm going to use a medium sized butterfly and I already have it on an acrylic block. And I'm going to stamp it using Versamark ink and um, for those who are new to card making, uh, Versamark ink is just a sticky ink and you can use it um, to emboss images using embossing powder. Okay, so I inked up the stamp and now I'm going to stamp it in the center of my paper. And now I'm going to use some white embossing powder by WOW. And I'm going to sprinkle it on the piece of paper. I'm not embossing a sentiment yet because I just I didn't decide yet which sentiment I want, so I'm going to emboss it afterwards. So now I'm going to heat set the powder using my heat gun. Okay, so now it's time for the fun part because I'm going to start watercoloring. So I'm just going to use some cardboard as my work surface so I can just adhere this piece of paper onto it so that it won't like warp um, completely. And I'm going to use some, oops, I'm going to use some painter's tape um, to adhere it. You can also use like post-it tape or just washi tape. Okay, so this time I'm going to use this beautiful watercolor palette by uh, Simply Art again. I'm just in love with all the beautiful colors included. So that's why I am using them again today. Okay, so today I'm going for like really bright uh, colors. So I'm going to start out um, by adding some water first so that they will just, so that the colors will blend more nicely um, and they will also blend easier when you add water first. Pick up some color. And the first color that I'm going to use is this bright pink over here. And now I'm just adding the color onto my piece of cardstock. And there we go. And now I'm going to add some yellow. Oh no, first I'm going to add some orange. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to add the orange over here. And now I'm going to add some yellow. And then finally just a hint of green. There we go. I'm just going to clean off my butterfly because um, 
there is some watercolor on it. So you can just use a baby wipe to clean it off since it's, it's you know, it is embossed. So um, the powder resists the uh, watercolors. Okay, so now I'm just going to heat set this with my heat gun so I can add the second layer. Okay, so now I'm going to add the second layer of color because I just want it to be a little bit more brighter. I'm going to add some more pink. And this is just a really beautiful pink. Okay, so I'm just going to add it over here. And then some orange. Okay, so now um, I'm just going to let this air dry. I'm not going to heat set it using the heat gun. So I'm just going to set this, set this aside so it can dry a little bit. And in the meantime, I can start working on the rest of the card. So over here I have a standard A2 card and I cut it out of some uh, white cardstock by Simon Says Stamp, some heavyweight cardstock. And I'm going to use the Simon Says Stamp Medium Dots stencil. So I'm going to adhere this temporarily using some painter's tape again. And now I'm going to use a Hero Arts Ink Dauber and this is the pastel yellow color. So first I'm going to shake this. Okay, and then I'm going to add the color onto my craft mat. Okay, so over here I have some Wendy Veggie white embossing paste. And I'm going to scoop some out. I'm only going to use this amount and then I'm going to mix the paste and the yellow ink, dauber ink, together. And then you will just end up with a really beautiful yellow embossing paste. Okay, so I'm going to pick up some embossing paste and I'm just going to spread it around. And I am not going to cover the whole card front um, using the embossing paste. But I'm just going to uh, add some of these yellow dots on just an area. I'm just going to scrape off all the excess paste so I will get nice flat results. Okay, so this card, uh, this piece of uh, paper still needs sentiment. So I'm going to use my favorite stamp set from William Walter, which is the Big, the Bold and the Happy. So I'm going to use, uh, let's see. And I'm going to use some Hero Arts Silver Shadow Ink to stamp the sentiment. And there we go. I'm going to adhere the piece uh, of watercolor paper onto my card and I'm just using some dimensional adhesive. Okay, so I just positioned uh, some sequins on the card and I'm going to start adhering them. Um, and I use the Sparkling Clear Sequins by Pretty Pink Posh. So these are the 6mm ones and then over here are the mini ones. Then I also used um, the Mini Orchid Sequins. Um, I also used the Mini fresh mint sequins and also the mini lemon meringue sequins. Okie dokie everyone, so that's it for this week's Saturday STEM Day card and video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support. I'm just so ha happy um, with my 900 subscribers. Um, so thanks for watching and I will be back next week. Bye!